Why is cycle knowledge so important? No, not that thought. Hi, I'm Diana from Snag Baby, and let's talk about the menstrual cycle. The average age to start periods, i.e. the menstrual cycle, is about 12 years old, but this can usually be somewhere between 8 and 15 years of age. The menstrual cycle, which is taken from the first day of your period to the first day of the next period, is on average 28 days long. But this can vary greatly, but most commonly between 21 to 40 days. The level of flow can vary from period to period, as it can from person to person. So let me now explain a little bit more in detail about the menstrual cycle itself. The first day of your period is day one of your cycle. This is when the lining of the uterus is shedding away and usually takes two to seven days in length. Some eggs are developing during this time, then roughly on about day 14, an egg is released. And it's matured enough and it travels along the fallopian tube towards the uterus. It is usually only one egg, but occasionally more which can lead to twins or greater. If you don't ovulate, you can't get pregnant. Many contraceptions work by stopping ovulation. If the egg isn't fertilized within 24 hours, the egg disintegrates. However, not all cycles include ovulation. The ovulation rate is decreased within the first few years of puberty and also as you approach menopause. From when your period has finished, your uterine lining will start to build up again. And this happens all around your uterus, like so. And it actually quickens <coughs> as the egg <coughs> is ovulated. And it continues to develop right up until 28 days of your cycle at which point then will be the start of your period and you'll shed the lining and you're back to day one of your cycle. The shedding of the uterine lining happens because the hormones have decreased usually when the egg has not been fertilized. However, if the egg does become fertilized, it forms a blastocyst and this moves down into the uterus and becomes embedded in the uterine lining that has grown during this time, specifically for this reason. It's a useful thing to get used to monitoring your cycles. This because it can be good information if you get any changes or any problems, including getting pregnant. Keep a track of your cycle from the start of your period to the end of your period and then the start of the next period. Maybe monitor what the flow was like through those days. Did you have any pain? Did you have any breakthrough bleeding during your cycle? And any other things you might notice. And these things can all help you if you do end up with any problems. Things that can cause menstruation cycle irregularities include pregnancy, obviously, polycystic ovarian syndrome or PCOS, eating disorders, extreme weight loss, excessive exercise, premature ovarian failure, pelvic inflammatory disease, uterine fibroids, and perimenopause. So whatever the problem is, it's always worthwhile speaking to your GP, look after your little self. So remember, to monitor your cycles can be good. If you have any problems, I would. <laughs>